Alrighty, well, welcome everybody to the Hamo Bros YouTube channel. Today we're talking about the Zelda games that were announced and I guess uh, shown off at the most recent E3 conference. Uh, Nintendo was the last of the big companies to get to show off their new games coming out and we had three different Zelda games, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it, if you count Cadence of Hyrule as... I don't, but... Still. <laughs> it's, it's Zelda content coming out to the Switch. We'll definitely have to pick it up that we could... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> go to our local GameStop. <laughs> uh, well, the Cadence of Hyrule you download off of the Nintendo I think there's shop. physical copies. I think I saw there that there is? are physical copies. I wouldn't mind I'll picking it get up. The physical copy then. I think I only kind of glanced at that trailer. I think it isn't it like kind of a rhythm based right. roguelike, it's which like will be dungeon, interesting. It's like a dungeon crawler, except instead of being your generic dungeon crawler, it's you know rhythm based, so you move to the rhythm of whatever <laughs> song's being played. Mm, I interesting. Don't know, yeah. <laughs> honestly, don't know that much about. <laughs> I never I played the first. No. Wow, what's the title? I don't, uh, uh, whatever the, the, Dance uh, of the Necromancer. Maybe? Yeah, maybe it's something like that. I think I've actually heard that game talked about before, but uh, and um. I've heard that they're both good. I guess, but. But will we know. play both? We'll just have to see. I think we will play a little bit of uh, Cadence because it's kind of interesting. You don't often get to play Zelda. Outside of um, Wand of Gamelon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah Link, uh, two players also. Um, I well, I, I'm, in, I'm interested to see what the multiplayer is actually like. The co op, yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I've that never will, played a roguelike uh, multiplayer. It'll probably be worth, I think, I'm guessing it's probably around $20, I'm guessing. I think it was 25 25 Yeah. That's still, I still not that bad. That's not horrible yeah so i guess that's really all that we can talk about for cadence of hyrule right now because honestly we don't know we don't know that much it's not that we don't care too much about it but we just haven't gone around to it plus we're a little more excited for the other, other games two that were well i mean announced. all the Link's two other titles was that are announced before but the other two that were shown off. Yeah. So let's go ahead, move on to Link's Awakening. Uh, Link's um, Awakening, what a great game! Since that's uh, the next one coming up. Yeah, we'll talk next about Link's out, Awakening. <laughs> Dungeon design, kind of a Mario Maker kind right. of feature inside a Zelda game, which is something Nintendo kind of like should have made <laughs> yeah i agree on it's a wii u it, uh, yeah it could that have been its own thing that would have been cool oh yeah i'm so curious <laughs> i'm Sorry. so i'm so curious about like what kind of what what does this feature do for you in game do you actually kind of get you... some treasures if you complete your own dungeon yeah you get some treasures for completing your own dungeons which is a little weird because it you is literally can you spam are... it or can you only play it once i wonder i don't know oh, we'll, sure play, we'll find it out what it, again. we'll find out exactly what it means right i saw that one of the rewards is like a fairy bottle which there weren't any bottles in the, the original? original game there was like the potion that you got from not the witch but crazy oh god what's her name it's been so long since i've yeah. played this game she has a bunch of rats in her house or something <laughs> <laughs> rats or cats i, I can't i can't wait emotion. i can't wait to play it on the channel the original and the new one yeah i agree it's definitely one of my favorites. let's talk about how the u.s is getting shafted <laughs> On the special edition. On the special edition. I have the, I've pre-ordered the special edition. And I pre-ordered it also for our father. But should I have? 
<laughs> let's 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 talk about this. Also, what do we, what did we miss the out? Edition, but Have you yet? You should soon. Otherwise, all the pre-orders I will be filled up. It's gonna, yeah, I no, I heard. Well, that might have been a business tactic. It's like, right. oh, you better pre-order now, or because a lot of people are pre-ordering it. I think it. I'll pre-order it through Amazon. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I pre-ordered the 3DS. And, like, got there early. I was like, oh, I bet there's going to be a big line for the 3DS. So <laughs> it was empty. Yeah. No one wanted it. <laughs> well, I think it was the $250 price. It was. It was. It was the more expensive one. But then, then I became an ambassador. Yeah, so it was nice so to get some nice good. rewards. <laughs> yeah. All right. But so the reason why we're saying that. Anyways, the, let's get back to what we're actually talking about, yeah. how... How the American or the <laughs> North North American, you know, pre orders for Link's Awakening, the special edition, you get what is it, the dream book or something? Yeah, you get Not the like dream book. I think book, both and yeah, but the the dream book is just different on the European version. Right. But then the Europeans get the steel book. Yeah, the steel book. That looks like a Game Boy with Link's Awakening, like the start menu, which is so cool. I think we've already I've already seen on Amazon like someone's trying to sell it for like one ninety already. That's so ridiculous. That is ridiculous. <laughs> like, gosh darn it. <laughs> why? Why? Some people not... are hardcore fans. Some people I bet are gonna oh, buy absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. I don't understand why they don't just have it all over, but it's fine. So. Other than the special edition, what other, you know, things is the new Link's Awakening coming, you know, what is it bringing to the table? Because I'm pretty sure it's a, you know, $60 price tag. Which is interesting. It is, but, I mean, they spent the time to put together, I'm sure, a brand new game engine and yeah, the dungeon builder, which is... From what you know, from what I've seen, <clears throat> it's kind of you know simplified. There's not too much you can do. You can't really you know change anything about the rooms that you're putting in. It's just you're kind of using pre-made rooms, but the pre-made rooms are rooms from each of the dungeons that you complete, basically. So I wonder if you, as you obviously beat more dungeons, you unlock more of these rooms and then pretty sure that's what it so is. it's gonna be more of a end game thing which is interesting like are the rewards worth it after you've already completed the game right or at least gotten about be uh be interesting honestly yeah. from what i've seen it seems like they've made the game easier mm. but then when you are given like all these rewards from the dungeon maker that makes it even more you know even easier i guess might um, it might i'm i, have a I, I hope it's i i really wish it wouldn't become easier i think that's, but I think that's just what's nintendo's style right. is to make things easier which i just don't agree with because challenge invites excitement and right. to bring to make make it easier will definitely like to d diminish the quality of the game. I I'm hope I think we should. I don't know if this is true for the channel. Uh, what we should do maybe is bef what when when's it coming out? September. September twentieth. Maybe we should play the original before right the release. Like we we pick it we pick the games at random. But I feel like this is a special case where we should maybe choose, per Link's, choose Awakening. Link's Awakening to be our next game, and that way we can more easily compare it when we play it. Right. Because we're going to play it both times. Right. Um, so that'll be interesting. Uh, just from what I've seen, it seems like they've made it very streamlined yeah, and easier. Which is a shame. Yeah. Because, I mean, the game, the game Boy version is not... It's not like super hard 
you know i mean you know it's a little cryptic but it kind of guides you you know the right direction i kind of like zelda too i think like in a game thinking for yourself is very important right i think in a puzzle game like where and also like because like you said it's cryptic it's it makes it makes exploration like a worthy component of the game because right. if you don't explore you're just not going to be able to progress versus in like a, a game that tells you where to go you're not going to explore why would you you can just keep going you know where to go All right so it like the the things that are in the game kind of work together and Link's Awakening to build an ex and not a specific experience, but a g- of well, I'm trying to think of what I want to say. It allows for the player to what is it? What am I thinking? A minute, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It allows the player to (laughs) experience, you know, uh, I guess finding stuff out yourself. I don't know. Yeah, I think figuring things out is much more rewarding than being told. Yeah, which Breath of the Wild kind of does that a little bit with all the markers on the map. Well, what do you mean? It kind of shows you what direction to go. Instead of like a character I telling think you to head some direction and they point it out. But I think the beauty of Breath of the Wild is you always know right away, the first shot, you know where to go. You know you have to defeat Ganon. I but wanna, like, I but. I want to know where to go though. I want to. But I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's. You can choose to either go face forward and just try to beat them right away. But if you just don't have the skill, you're just not going to be able to do it. Right. It invites you to ex- figure out your own path to try to improve yourself. But if you know the path, then how can you figure but out But you own you path? don't know the path to anything else, just to Ganon. Okay. You know what I mean? Although they do, if you do want to follow the main quest line, you do get told exactly everything where to go. Which they could have changed that a little bit, I agree. The Link's Awakening is when it comes to, like, dungeon location, though, I guess. I I think so, as well. All right, anything else that you want to point out about Link's Awakening? Not the current moment, no. Not till we... We'll be able to, like, talk about it a lot more when we play it. Right. When we see what they've actually done. I guess the art style is like one thing that a lot of people like to bring up. But I don't even think that like it should even be like a controversial thing to talk about. It's, you know, the art direction that they want to take it. I think there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Like, what are they expecting? Like, (laughs) they see the, the, the clip of link on the boat and they want him to look like that in the game that doesn't make any sense yeah. you're, you're trying to recreate this 8-bit game <laughs> you have to have simple it's supposed to design. look like a dream world basically i think that works out yeah i wonder what if what if they do something a little bit like with like the cut scene beforehand you know it's this nice cool the cool boat scene we saw in the trailer right and then you beat the game, and then at the end it show it goes back to like Link waking up, and it's actual like cinematic again, mm-hmm. kind of like the how they did it in the Game Boy game. Right, I, I'm interested to see what that'll look like. I think it'll look pretty nice. I think they took out like the camera shop or whatever. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Maybe did they, they at least leave in the color dungeon? Yes. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I've ever played that because we have we don't have the colored. Well, version. I'm playing the DX version for the first You're time. You're playing right the now, DX the on the DS, yeah. Hmm. And I actually haven't stepped foot into the <laughs> color dungeon. I think it's in the graveyard. I'm already in the eighth <laughs> dungeon, so like, <laughs> might as well not even. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 
Anyways, let's let's continue. Let's let's go on to, to what the big one that to, I think freaking out about. Yeah, I think we have a, a bit to say about this. Yeah. So obviously we're not talking about call it Breath of the Wild too, but the that's, sequel. Well, that's Breath just what Wild. we have to call it for right now. <laughs> so, um, the, the sequel to the 2017 launch title. For the Switch, Breath of the Wild was, I guess, announced. It was unexpected. Right. Very much so. Like, where were they? Like, I think more so what's inside the trailer was unexpected. Like, I think the fact that they are reusing the same engine that they worked very hard on, it makes a lot of business sense. It makes a lot of game sense. Right. Um, you know, they did that with Ocarina and Majora's Mask. Right. I definitely think that was the correct uh, move. I think it was the correct move. So I think what's crazier is what's actually inside the trailer. I think, uh, let's start off with like, I just want to like the same to you, Matt, um, that I listened to that audio track and it seems like, oh, if you play it backward, it might sound different. It doesn't. <laughs> it sounds exactly the same. So let's just dispel that right right away. Okay. Well, I want to actually talk about like inside the trailer. Um, something very interesting to me personally is like all the hand imagery. Right. Um, I, uh, maybe when you're editing this, Matt, you can show kind of some of these clips. Right. But like you see Zelda looking at the hand and it twitches, you know, a hand is possessed over Ganon, like resurrecting him. You know, you see a short clip of Zelda and Link grabbing hands. You see just uh, <laughs> hands. So like hands. So hands, 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 hands. So, so I'm wondering if this is going to be like the big thing in this game. Right. You know Whatever what I mean? is going to be in the title. <laughs> Whatever it might be in the title. You know? Right. Like the Ocarina of Time. Or the Wind Waker. Exactly, or yeah. Or the Minish Cap. Something to do with hands. Yeah. Um, but let's it talk about... The Triforce and how, like... Yeah, I was actually going to... Yeah, that's interesting, or, too. you know, whatever. All the um, three main characters, how they have the Triforce embedded kind of into their hand a little bit. It might. Yeah. Um, we'll just have to see because I'm so... I'm, all we can do is speculate right now. I right. think this game is definitely going to be more story based. I agree. Which, if they do it right, could and they fix the problems with Breath of the Wild that we <laughs> yeah. we will talk about in just a moment. But I think it could be a really epic game. Right. That's, I yeah. Really think that if they add some traditional dungeons and items, that. I'll definitely enjoy it a lot more than Breath of the Wild, like, right off the bat. I guess uh, the one thing that I took from the trailer is, like, do you think that it's going to be, like, a labyrinth kind of setting where it's, like, I all underground or kind of at the end of the trailer it shows Hyrule Castle kind of like coming up from the ground so is that going to be like I think it, no it wasn't somewhere? going up I it think it was going, going down I thought it was going up dad said I the don't same remember. thing that it was going down I don't if it's going down then maybe it is some kind of underground uh, let me check I actually have it pulled up <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see Oop. Where are you? Get back here. So professional. Uh, why? Oh, why is it not rendering? <laughs> it, it's it's on the right clip, but it's not showing the clip. What the heck? No, no, I don't want to see Ganon's face. <laughs> also, that's another really interesting point that we need to talk. Ganondorf's face. Ganondorf. Sorry. Um, so let's, uh, you said it's going up? I thought it was going up. I don't think it shows a direction yet. Okay. 
But I just see like smoke coming out from under it. Something's definitely breaking. It's either going up or down. Yeah. I think let's talk about Ganondorf. So okay. Ganondorf has always felt like this main villain. And he's his first appearance was in Ocarina of Time. And in every other game, it's been that same Ganondorf. Right. So it's interesting. Is this is this the same Ganondorf, you yeah. know? Except the undead version. Except the kind undead of. version. Is he being <laughs> resurrected for the first time? I know you don't like to talk about the timeline. <laughs> um, but like in every... Apparently this is like the... Every timeline leads to this game, Breath of the Wild. And right. also pro- most likely the sequel. Like is this basically Ganondorf in every timeline just having come back is coming back right except well that creates a problem with like the wind waker you know ganondorf was you know a master sword through his head well <laughs> the, thing, <laughs> the thing is like with the timeline placement is nintendo doesn't want to put these games on any in timeline, the timeline. So it's kind of all speculation. Well, okay. Right. Well, I, I think it's just interesting how... Is this the same Ganon for Mockery? Right. I think That's that, what I want to know. I think that might, you know, be the body of Ganondorf. And somehow there will be some story, some little hint that they're going to throw in there to make it seem like it could be connected to the rest of the games, but they're not going to go any deeper than that. They that's probably kind of what won't. They do is kind of just... You know, so, hint at other games and not try to connect them like except for the games that have like direct sequels like this one to Breath of the Wild or Majora's Mask to Ocarina of Time or Family Hourglass to Wind Waker and mm-hmm. so on so I'm wondering like I think that the Ganondorf we see is not his obviously not his final version in the game right i think he's gonna be restored basically i agree i'm 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 so it's gonna be so interesting what he's gonna look like you think he might look similar to demise um he might off of that shadow shot i don't know if you look too deep in the in the shadow shot like i can't even really think of accurately what it looks like but there's like a kind of like a lightning flash and you can see his silhouette up on a wall or something like that mm-hmm. i think that's I, interesting I could be, it could, I he could, could look more off, demise but that's kind of he has like this interesting tiara which is glowing which i'm wondering like is that going to be relevant is it going to be like some magical artifact that helps him right and i wonder I'm, I want to like go back and play a little bit of Breath of the Wild to, and go into the Gerudo parts to see kind of the imagery because I think he had kind of like Gerudo uh, necklaces and stuff. Well, I and mean, see. he is a Gerudo, so. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So that's kind of interesting. Um, let's see, what else? What else can we talk about the trailer? I guess uh, Zelda is a character that a lot of people are talking oh, yeah. about we should yeah Everyone's stuff i talked about, about how she got a haircut but i don't think I it's think... i think it's i feel like there was some character development actually in breath of the wild so let's see i want i think this will just be like a continuation of her now being independent now that she was free of this burden because she defeated ganon with her which she was afraid to do but i guess she still has to do it so yeah <laughs> Well, Which, I wonder, sorry. like, what's leading them down into that cave anyways, like... How many cutscenes will there be, <laughs> is what I want to know. How many cutscenes? <laughs> Gosh darn it. Too many. Too many already. Well, <laughs> a lot of people complain that about a lack of story with the first one. I think that, like, to me, Zelda isn't all about the story and more about the journey. Yeah, I'm worried more about the gameplay. Right. I want those traditional dungeons back, man. Me too. We'll, you know, go more into depth about our complaints about Breath of the Wild when it, whenever we review it. I feel like I haven't played a new dungeon, a new dungeon, a new Zelda dungeon in right. so long. 
Because, <laughs> like, Breath of the Wild came out. No dungeons. Yeah, no dungeons. So, what, when was you the last dungeon that com- came out? Count those I mean, if we're going to, like, Link's Awakening is coming out, sure, but it's the same dungeons. Well, I mean, you can make your own dungeons now, boy. Sure, but I'm not playing a new Zelda dungeon that I don't know the answer to. Right, that's true. So, it's going to be. I wonder, like, really how complicated you'll be able to make those dungeons, honestly. It does. It seems like you get the map right away and the compass right away when you step into it. It's not like you can hide those anywhere. <laughs> so all the treasure chests just have keys. Wow. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, I honestly, when do you think the next oh, when, Zelda game is going to come out? All right. So the one you know that was shown at E3, I think that... Next year we're gonna see it at E3. I think we're gonna see some gameplay because at that point, Breath of the Wild is like three years, three older years so. old, a little older than that. I, how how and soon do you think they started working on it after Breath of the Wild? I think they started out? right away because I heard that, like, basically they came up with a bunch of ideas for DLC for mm-hmm. Breath of the Wild. Okay, they probably had to work on and that first though. They only put out two packages of DLC, and it just sounds like they came up with a bunch of ideas, so it's not like, you know, you gotta start from scratch when you already have a bunch of plans and kind of, you know, things you're already working on, I guess. So I expect it to not come out in fall next year, but I'm thinking spring of 2021, at least that's how far away from Breath of the Wild I would like it to be. You know, because they're using the same dungeon, or not the same dungeon, the, the same, same engine, game. Yeah. I bet there's going to be a lot less like opening bugs. Do you remember how many bugs there were? <laughs> well, I mean, the, the frame wild. rate was pretty rough. <laughs> the, the frame rate was bad. Yeah. We'll see how we'll optimized it will be for the Switch since it's... I'm guessing... It's only coming out for the Switch, yeah. not the Wii U. I'm pretty sure the Wii U, the day that the Switch came out, was like the day that Nintendo stopped supporting it. <laughs> like pretty the, much, yeah. I think that um, was the last. I, I, I'm I probably not the actual last, but it. pretty much the last game, the the last business the Wii U had gotten. Yeah, right. And I think that it's a good thing that they put it out for it because it kind of deserved. Like a little something. bit of something before it died. Right. <laughs> Deserved some big triple A title yeah. for it. Um, any other thoughts on the new games? Well, like, well, like with um, Breath of the Wild, I'm thinking like, are are they can't? How are we gonna explore? If we've already played like the same map, is what I'm wondering about. So you're thinking that if it's, it's the, same be world, the same world, same map. I'm sure really there hoping can, there, that sure it's there not. can be underground stuff, but right. like or above ground stuff or something. I somewhere will, else, but if like they make it the same world. I will be like. But why would it not be, though, if it's the sequel? Because they're spending all this time on it. Wouldn't they just put out a DLC if they were using the same world? Maybe this is a big DLC pack. (laughs) No, I'm just joking. But, but, like, what do you think they're going to do? I just think it's going to be a different, like, either it's going to be, like, this underground world that they're exploring in the game, which, I mean, we, we could be way off here, but either that or, like, Ganondorf teleports the Hyrule Castle or whatever to some other land or something like it has to be a different setting I just can't see them returning like obviously they said like we want to take place in the same Hyrule but that doesn't mean it needs to be like the same I know it's not going to be location it does it's not going to be a carbon copy but I just don't think they're gonna still use like the same map layout. I think it's gonna be a different. They're gonna shift gonna some past, things. I'm wondering. Past, you know the borders of Breath of the Wild. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. 
I don't, I don't think I have anything else to say in terms of Zelda and E3. Yeah, I guess. I guess put it all out there. Yeah. I'm sure there's more to talk about, but, you know, <laughs> there's always stuff to talk about. But in the end, <laughs> it's all up to Nintendo. <laughs> like, yeah. what's going to be put out? What they think is best business wise, or even like, well, what I mean, they think is best game wise. Yeah, their they game focus design. more on the game design I, than the. But I'm just business. like I'm disagreeing slightly with their game design philosophy with making things easier. Right. I mean, Breath of the Wild was supposed. I to think be it was harder. slightly difficult at first. I right. w- I hope they get rid of the ancient arrows one shotting everything, well, well, like the Lionels being just one shot. Right. I don't want silly. you to ever become like superhuman level. I feel like in that game, you, you know, you could become indestructible. What's also interesting is like, I saw a speed run of like Breath of the Wild. It's so easy to become. It's like if you just build up the right skills, right? You can beat Ganon, uh, Dark. Or mechanical beast version, yeah. easy. Such a disappointing boss. <laughs> well, I'm not talking about the big one. The big one is obviously a disappointment. I'm talking about also like the mechanical Ganon, right. which I had a little bit of difficulty beating at first, but he actually doesn't seem too hard. I wish I wish they difficulty ramp it up a little bit. Like the Master Sword made it so much easier. Yeah. Oh, that's another thing. Oh, like yeah. Link has his massive sword on his back in this trailer. Yeah, do you but get the master sword you, right away? Like, what do you get right away? Why would you not have it right why away? Why would you not you have the same abilities? Right. To start but off then again, with? you could choose not to get the master sword or you might not even know it exists when you play Breath of the Wild. You could play through the entire I game. played the uh I I did the three heart challenge. You know, I never got the Master Sword. <laughs> right. So is it just assumed that you get it after you defeat Ganon? Will I be able to defeat. do a three heart challenge? What's going to happen? I'm so curious. <laughs> I, I just what do you that start was off an with? Interesting fact. Like in Majora's Mask, for some reason you don't have your arsenal. That's not really explained. Right. You don't have your. Even though you're a seasoned or... adventurer. <laughs> You have a shield that I you've never seen, and a the yeah, cork, co- cokery sword. Yeah, except it looks a little more metal than wood. Yeah, but it's all right. Those are just small facts. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. Well, I think uh, that's kind of our thoughts after this e3 in terms of zelda yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Alrighty. Well. <laughs> thanks for watching you guys yeah make sure to like comment subscribe check out our other videos or check nowhere out our tier list. check out our tier list check out my phone ringing bye <laughs>